God, nice, really messed you up. Um, <laughs> Assuming it's still morning. Yes, it's still morning. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, please be prepared for me not having any idea what time it is, what day it is, nothing. But uh, if you've been here before, you've probably picked up on that. So today is a good day. Today I work tonight. Another night shift in the ICU. That's not the good part. The good part is I am currently on my way to get the second COVID vaccine from Pfizer. 21 days ago, I or 20 days ago, I forget which, I got vaccine number one. Um, and, you know, today is vaccine number two. I am supremely grateful to be able to have this vaccine for no reason other than... I will feel comfortable and my folks will feel comfortable with, you know, us, you know, being together again. I don't go on vacation for another three weeks and according to the Pfizer data, uh, you will be as immune as you're ever going to get after about one week uh, after shot number two or day 28 if day one is the first shot. So my body will have a long period of time to develop antibodies. Now, what is uh, a little bit nerve-wracking is that initial reports suggest that after vaccine number two is when you really kind of get hit hard with an uh, with the immune reaction, you know, fevers and myalgias and not feeling so great. Um, and unfortunately, out of the next six nights, I happen to work five of them. So suboptimal. But regardless, um, you know, we push through. And I, and I know I'm going to be kind of freaking out about every little thing that I feel in my body that may or may not be going wrong. And every little symptom that I might have. Oh my God, I'm reacting to the COVID vaccine. Probably not. I've worked, uh, I don't know, six out of the last seven nights or five out of the last seven. I don't know. I've worked a lot of nights over the course of the last week or so. And so, you know. I am tired and kind of baseline cranky, so. But anyway, um, I'm driving in to the hospital now. Uh, my shift starts in just over nine hours from now, but my shot is in 11 minutes. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully I don't get all those symptoms that everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people seem to have reported. Um, I do take solace in knowing that a lot of these reported symptoms are subjective symptoms, uh, you know, fatigue, body aches, you know, feeling flushed. That's all subjective, you know. I, I feel fatigued now. Is that something that I would attribute to the COVID vaccine that I got three weeks ago? No. Um, you know, I feel flushed, but that could be because I went to the gym and uh, did some cardio and took a shower and now I'm here without a lot of time to cool myself down. So, again, not something from the COVID vaccine from three weeks ago. Um, you know, the severe versus mild versus moderate symptoms, again, are subjective. You know, it's there's a big difference between a Navy SEAL feeling fatigued and a four-year-old feeling fatigued. Uh, they will almost always report differently. Um, if you are a married woman out there, um, may I invoke man flu versus your cold? People report things differently. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it goes both ways. You never actually know. Um, and you never know how somebody's immune system actually functions, you know. So, you never know. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this. I'll, I'll be happy to be able to see my parents again at the end of this month. It will have been uh, almost exactly a year since we, we'd seen them. Yeah, and we're used to seeing them every couple of months. But like I said in a previous video, we were okay, um, you know, not seeing each other in person for this year until there was a vaccine. And, you know, at least we got vaccinated um, on the off chance we risk, you know, killing somebody. And not having these holidays and these, Christ and these Christmases and these birthdays, etc. For the chance of getting, you know, 15, 20, 25, 30 more. So, I'll take you through the night and see how I do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do particularly well. I hope I do, because I have patients to take care of in an intensive care unit. 
<laughs> so uh, yeah, residency, you don't take a day off of work. Not how it works. If you did, you'd be screwing somebody else. You'd be, you'd be hosing one of your buddies. And that's not something I'm really willing to do unless I'm actively on death's door. I've had to do it once. I don't have to do it twice. Uh, once because my grandmother died a couple years ago and once because I had uh, actually had influenza. When I had influenza, <laughs> I actually still went to work and got yanked because I looked like crap. Yeah, the goal is to not pull one of your buddies for Jeopardy and make them work a night shift that you probably should have been working anyway. I am on the medical campus. I'm going to park, get my shot, and I'll take you with me. It's not as loud as it was last time, but we'll see. How you doing? Doing well. Round two. Oh, you betcha. I know, right? What time is your appointment? Noon. Noon, and I your ID the last thing I need. Driver's license or employee ID? Here, have a driver's license. Last I checked. The hairs are Herring, like the fish. Yes, 12 noon. Michael J. What uh, branch of the military were you in? Pardon? What branch of the military? Navy. Navy? Thank yeah. you for your service. Squid. Squid. <laughs> Last time I didn't need to be. All right, so it's uh, just after seven o'clock. I got my shot seven hours ago, and I still feel quite fine. Um, I'm riding the bike right now, and Kyrie is watching The Bachelor with Bruin, who seems thrilled to be watching it. Yeah, um, as you can tell, I'm not. Um, so yeah, I feel fine. Um, now it's going to be 14 hours from now until I can actually go to bed bed because we're going to overnight again. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes fine. One more quick update before I go to work. It's uh, just past 8.30, eight and a half hours since the shot. I still feel fine. This time there was a little bit more shoulder pain and soreness, I guess, than last time. I anticipate it's due to the length of time the needle spent in my deltoid this time versus last time. Um, last time I got a, a shot from a pharmacist and this time a nursing student, probably a little less practice. Um, she did fine. I'm happy to be the guinea pig for nursing students and their education. So it is what it is. Um, that being said, a little bit more pain this time, but it's okay. I'll manage. Um, I still fi feel fine, fine enough to go to work. And speaking of which, time to run. All right, got a couple minutes. Oh God, to chat. It's been a busy, it's been a busy one. Um, I got a chance to sleep for a few hours uh, before I left. <sighs> left for work about nine, felt fine. Um, felt feverish for like 15 minutes <laughs> at like, uh, like 8.45 maybe. Um, I've been feeling fine. It's actually really warm in the hospital today, so that's not helpful. Yeah. Anyway, um, I feel fine so far. You know, I'm holding the phone with the shoulder that got the shot, doing just fine. Um, usually when I get a flu shot, it's kind of hard, but again, not as bad as a flu shot. And even when the, <laughs> the syringe stayed in, my, <laughs> stayed in my arm a little bit longer than it should have. Uh, but again, that's okay. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, I feel good. Um, you know, I'm not getting the headaches or myalgias that other people seem to get. Um, I'm, you know, I'm warm, but it's warm in the hospital. You know, uh, my intern did not get the shot today. 
gets it tomorrow, or I guess later today, technically, because it's tomorrow. Anyway, um, he gets it later, uh, but he's also warm, so I anticipate either it's warm in the hospital, which is more likely, or we both have something, which is very unlikely, so doing fine. What sort of time? I get to go to bed in like seven hours. All right, 4 a.m., still up. Um, we're still waiting on one patient that we got signed out on like five hours ago. There's a nursing note in there that says the patient's off the floor, but that was from like five hours ago. So either this patient absconded, which he has a history of, or somebody's lying to me, but whatever. Um, still, I feel fine as the shot goes again four o'clock i'm starting to get tired <laughs> um if i figure out where this patient went i'll be able to do some more work if not then i don't know maybe i'll try to grab a couple minutes of sleep but you know all's good right now so knock on wood all right i'm home it's uh 9 21 9 22 I think Kyrie and Bruin are outside right now because I usually have a nice welcoming committee when I get home. Um, I am currently not afforded that luxury, um, but I am remarkably hungry. So I think I'm going to find something to eat. Um, this is what I had for dinner. And I'm just going to heat some of this up. Actually, I might just heat up the rest of this container. It's, um, kind of a, just a pile of goo. Uh, <laughs> Kyrie calls it pseudo jambalaya. Um, it's chicken breast, rice, a bunch of peppers, some hot peppers, some spicy things, a bunch of seasoning, and it is delicious. I know it's not really appropriate for 9.20 in the morning. I don't care. I am hungry, it is delicious. I have never been one to eat breakfast foods at breakfast and dinner foods at dinner and lunch foods in between. Um, but yeah, so I am kind of getting to the end of my mental fuse here, <laughs> as you might imagine. Um, still, my arm is a little bit sore. I have not felt feverish. I have not felt crummy. I have not had a headache. Um, you know, I'm doing more or less okay. It's really hard to tell if my general feeling of crappiness has to do with working overnight or the shot I anticipate is just with working overnight because all the stuff that I'm feeling now is all the stuff that I always feel after I work an ICU shift overnight. I know that clock is very wrong. I am too lazy to go up there and change the batteries. Yeah. So. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna to go to bed. I will check in in the morning, um, awkward, in the evening. <laughs> God, nice, really messed you up. Um, <laughs> I will check in in the evening before my next shift and uh, we'll see how I'm doing. So I was gonna sit next to Kyrie, but um, yeah, I, uh, I know my pecking order in this home. So it's been almost 36 hours. I'm about to go back to work for another night shift, but Kyrie also had her shot today. Otherwise it was fine. Um, yeah, but I also had worked overnight, and so it was like I couldn't tell. Yeah. Lovely. About uh, seven o'clock this morning, so about 14 hours ago almost. How do you feel? Good. I did the interval workout today. Yeah, so she, <laughs> you feel good. Um, yeah, so she got the, the shot earlier and went to work out. Uh, I worked out this afternoon. I trained back and biceps. I felt fine. Um, you know, I'm not feeling flushed or lethargic or, you know, having muscle aches. Um, when I washed my shoulder in the shower, it was a little bit more sore than I anticipated, but, you know, I just got a shot there, so. My shoulder is pretty sore right now. It is. It's really tender. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot tender than the first one. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think mine is certainly more tender than the first one, but 
That being said, the needle stayed in there a lot longer, <laughs> like I mentioned. But all in all, I think we're doing okay. Um, most of the residents I work with on my current floor that work during the day have mentioned that they haven't really felt much of anything. Um, one of my nurse friends got a fever and a headache, but uh, everybody else seems to be doing fine, so. All right, so a little update. As you can probably tell, one of us did better than the other. Uh, I'm about two and a half days out, Kiri is about a day out, and um, yeah, this explains a lot. So last night, or this morning, I should say, when I came home from work, I usually get a text from Kyrie, just, you know, good morning, whatever. Didn't get one, so text her back. Nothing. Told her I was on my way home. Nothing. Of course, I walk in, and she and Bruin are on the bed, uh, both still sleeping. <sighs> Kyrie did a lot worse than I did. Yeah, I got pretty sick. What did you have? Body aches and I had fevers and chills. I just felt really nauseous and I had a really bad headache all day. I'm starting to finally feel a little bit better. Not for a day. Like 12 hours later. Yeah. So, one of us got lucky. He's breathing so hard. He's like snoring when he's awake. Yeah. COVID. <sighs> I don't think so. <laughs> and Bruin vomited last night too, so he also didn't feel well. He's fine now. I know that's what you're most concerned with, but now I look tired. But we both work tonight. Uh, Bruin's gonna go hang out with Charlie and Uncle Derek for the night, and uh, yeah. So one of us did a lot better than the other one. So thanks, Peter. Yep. Well, it's like wasn't it like fifty percent of people have reactions? So it was, really <laughs> it was gonna be one of us. She watched me not have a terrible reaction, and then she saw it. Uh oh. I think now that I had this reaction, I know that my last COVID vaccine that I was probably sick from the COVID vaccine because they felt similar. Yeah, but that was bad. felt worse, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I felt, I felt almost exactly nothing the first time. And then this time I'm like, my shoulder hurts right. more, um, you know, kind of a baseline. Sometimes I get flushed a little bit, but not really. Um, overall, you know, I feel at least 90%, but there's certainly a noticeable 10% dip. I still got to exercise. I'm still defying the gym. Okay. Fine. <laughs> You're so needy, bro. All right. We gotta go to work. Peace. Bye bye. Let's go. Come on, bro. Let's go.